Stan. Welcome back to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. In the last episode, you noticed that we girls were outnumbered. When I say we girls, it was just me on the mat and we have two gentlemen. So guys out there, you're gaining on us. Remember, yoga is not just for girls. As a matter of fact, the best yoga teachers were men. You will find, if you Google all the great yoga masters, they were all men. And the reason for that is men appear to be very linear-minded. They're able to focus. The meditation part happens very easily for them. And they're very involved in keeping their body fit. Women traditionally in India would try to stay fit while they were doing household chores. So for example, I'll give you a simple example. Women, I remember still, my mother would sit with one knee folded in and the other leg extended, and she would grind, she would grind the soaked rice and lentils to make a batter for what we call, it's a kind of a, we call it dosa. It's a kind of a pancake, an Indian pancake. And she would grind in a big grinding, with a big grinding stone in front of her. And while she leaned forward, she could reach her toes. So Janu sees her head to knee, She's already doing that posture. So there are lots of postures that women would also take themselves in and out of, but as part of their household duties. And that's just a woman thing. We just like to multitask. That's a positive way of looking at it. The other way of looking at it, women tend to be feel sensitive. We, we do a little of everything. Men are greater, better at meditation. So anyway, I'm really happy to bring to your attention we have two amazing participants who stretched with me in the last episode. Ron Thomas and Rob Harper are back with us. And before we move on to introduce Rob's new book, reintroduce his new book, I'd like to first get some feedback from Rob. Rob, tell me, how did you feel the last time, first of all? Energized. Energized? Energized. I felt as if though I had worked out in the gym with weights. I heard you talking to Ron after the uh, taping. Yes. I just feel that way. You were yeah. sweating. You were sweating too, I right, sweat, Ron? Yeah, I sweated. I could feel the sweat, and I was actually wiping the sweat off of my forehead. So don't think yoga is just a very... It is low impact. The stretches we do is very low impact. But the trick is to breathe with your postures. Hold your postures as long as you're able to keep exhaling in the forward folds. As long as you're able to keep inhaling, keep going in the back bends, keep going back. It's your breath that takes you to your destination. Just like our everyday breathing. Well, everyday breathing, we also breathe every day to take us through each day's journey. Ron, very quickly, um, we, I know that you had some great discussions on your show, Big Talk, every Thursday, 1 to 2. Yeah, conflict minerals. Uh, that was an amazing topic. I, yeah. We touched on it the last time. So, what, did you have any callers? Uh, no, I, I actually made a speech. <laughs> oh, you did a kind of a seminar on TV. You yeah. talked about it, so you must have done a lot of research, right? I had done some research, yeah. Right, right, before you actually went on air. 
But your show typically is a call-in show. People it's can call in. It's a call-in show. People can call in. It's live. Big Talk, live every Thursday. Ron Thomas has a show, 1 to 2 in the afternoon. Right. Ron competes for my studio time, but he's live. We're not. So you can always watch us anytime. You can TiVo us. If you're in front of your laptop, you can go to mnn.org. That stands for Manhattan Neighborhood Network. You can always catch up any episodes that you've missed before. Or you could go to my website, yogaexpress.com. A lot of the big talk people watch Yoga Express now. They watch Yoga Express now. Yeah. Thank you for bringing all your fans to, you know what? It's not enough if they just watch. Bring them here on the map. Yeah. We want them to experience it. I'm the yoga monk of Manhattan. <laughs> You're the yoga monk of Manhattan Neighborhood yeah. Network. I know. We tried to get another producer, Victor, onto the mat. He refuses to come. They're right? mad at me because I'm keeping the pressure on. <laughs> That's right. Keep it up, Ron. Great job. Great job. Before I move on to Rob Harper, I'd like to thank our amazing crew, Fran Dixon and Barbara Levin. Thank you so much for working the cameras once more for us today. Josian Hurd, our director, thank you, Josian, for making this episode happen. Great teamwork, all of you. Deshaun Pretlow, responsible for all these super cool effects in the back. Opening music, the opening track was from Sapta Tandava, and body music that you hear right now, if I shut up, that's by Cesar Depara, created just for Yoga Express. Now we're going to come to Rob Harper. And the reason I saved Rob for the last, he's practically a special guest today. Everyone's special, Ron. You are too. I'm a regular, though. You're a regular <laughs> special guest. Rob just comes and goes. He disappears from my radar every now and then. But I saved him for the last because I want to talk a little more about his book. Rob, yes, please. If you'll hold up your book for the viewers. I've seen it. I want the yes. viewers to see it. <laughs> that job just isn't into you, starting over when it's over. I just like the way you say it so much better. Say it in your own way. <laughs> that job just isn't into you, starting over when it's over. The right intonation. Now remember, this is a very timely book, and today we're going to get a few insights into some of the chapters in the book. Rob, I know you, uh, you interviewed quite a few. Uh, were they your colleagues? Yes, some of them were my colleagues, some of them were associates, some of them were recommended to me uh, because they were on the journey of right. that job not being into them. Right, right, right. So tell me, give me an example of what's sure. in there. Uh, this, the book is available online uh, and through uh, any of the uh, online bookstores and uh, it consists of 106 pages, very easy to read. Right. Didn't want to write anything that was like in depth because when you're going through a job loss or you're transitioning, you don't, you're you're not don't, the mood you don't, right, you don't have any time for anything. For something that's deep, right. although it's a serious matter, but you right. want to get in and get out. Yes. But to your question, I interviewed approximately yeah. 10 individuals. Sure, take a look at it. Yes. 10 individuals uh, from different uh, professionals, uh, one from an accountant, a, uh, a nurse, uh, a blue-collar worker, right. another gentleman, uh, an airline pilot, actually. And his story was really interesting. He started out as an insurance adjuster, did not like the job, right. always wanted to be an airline pilot, uh -huh. but he thought that he couldn't because he didn't have 20-20 vision. At one point in time, you couldn't be a pilot if you didn't have... Surgeons. Okay. Well, oh. that's what he thought. So anyway, uh, so along his journey, he was an insurance adjuster. He switched over and became a model. Very good looking guy. I met the guy uh, at a gym once. He was, became my personal trainer. Right. So he was talking to me about his, his jobs and whatnot. And he said, you know, I really want to be an airline pilot. I'm like, well, why don't you go for it? Thought, no, I don't have 20-20 vision. So eventually he got married, still with that burning desire to be an wow. airline pilot. So he modeled for a while, was a personal trainer. And then he told himself, hey, I don't like any of Life these jobs. Life is too short. Life is too short. So he took a plunge for it. Now he's an airline pilot for one of the major airlines. Well done. <laughs> and you interviewed him. Did yes, you get I interviewed laid him. Off the airline or from he, the he did not get laid off from the airline, just the different jobs that he had. Because my book is not only for individuals that are laid off, but if you're on a job and you right. want to make a transition. And for him, that's what he wanted to do, right, a transition right. in his life. So you're teaching people to follow their dream. Giving them a guide to follow the dream, a blueprint almost. You know, we know it. It's internalized in us, but we're afraid to do it. Right. And sometimes we stay on the job. We're afraid to take the risk. Exactly, you. exactly. And you have to just, you only live once. That's true. You've got to that's go ahead true. and do it. As long as there's food on the table every day, folks at home, just learn to follow your dream. Get hold of this book. That job just isn't into you. Starting over when it's over. Rob Harper. You could also Google Rob. You're on. Yes, you can Google me, and you can follow me on Twitter at RobJH1. 
Rob J. What James. does your J stand for? James. Oh, Rob, is that your middle name? That's my middle name. Ah, find out another secret, buddy. Exactly. Rob J. H. H. One. One. So Rob J. Harper. Robert James Harper. Yes. One. Why one? Did someone else take the well, other? Well, I'm the only one, so I said Rob J. Oh, one. I see. Because sometimes when people have already right. taken a name, you put the number one. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Rob J. Harper. One. Rob J. Rob H. One. H. One. At Twitter. Yes. At Twitter. And do you have a website yet? I do have a website. You can put in again Rob J H one, and you'll come up to my website. My okay. website is on About Me. Right. If you go to About Me, you'll find me there as well. Oh, that's another website where exactly. we could Google. Well, not Google. We could About Me you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Wonderful. Yes. Rob, I'm hoping you'll be back tomorrow, and maybe a couple of days from now, because we have so much more sure. we want to talk about I would love to in this come book. Back. Uh, would you be willing to share a couple more Absolutely. In that? Absolutely. Anything uh, funny or interesting or anything that you're not allowed to share? Well, there, there, we are, a couple, there are a couple of funny things in there, so I'll come back and I'll okay, share. Okay, that'll be wonderful. <laughs> sure. Thank you so much. And tomorrow what we'll do is we'll give people actually an opportunity to follow you. We'll put your website up there Great. so they can get in touch with Excellent. you. Excellent, thank you. You can also download Rob's book online. It's really very marginal. You don't have to pay much. The point is you need to get hold of this book. I think it's a very timely theme, so get hold of it and make your life work for you. So what we're going to do today, uh, Ron, Rob, and myself, the three of us, we're going to take you through some of the standing postures from a very simple sequence called 48 Plus. It's from my book, Yoga Secrets, my third title. I don't want to take Rob's thunder away, so I'm going to fold that over. But we will also share with you a simple post a postcard with 48 simple stretches, target, 32 major muscle groups, glands, and organs in the body in under 20 minutes when you practice at home. We workshop it here for you, so we actually hold the postures way longer than you need to. But to really get your body moving, just get your body moving. Don't give yourself any excuses not to stretch. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to stand up. I'm going to take you through some of the standing postures. And the chairs you see in the background, by the way, they're not just for decoration. They are to help us get one extra prop, especially when we need balanced postures. Some postures are not easy to do standing up or hold for a long time. So they're there. And do that at home. Be near a chair or a table. Give yourself a chance to get deeper into the posture with a little bit of assistance. It's OK to ask for help. Press your palms in, heels together, toes slightly apart, elbows are raised. Inhale. Take your arms up. You remember from the last episode, Hasta Uttana. Exhale, fold from the hip. Father Hasta. Hands to feet from Namaskar. Arms raised and then hands to feet. Bring your heels out so the insides of your feet are parallel. You can keep your feet hip width apart. Inhale, bring your arms first up to shoulder height. Palms are facing in. Exhale, bend at the knees. Now this posture, if you hold it for a couple of minutes, it can give you a real burn. You don't need any external weights at the gym. Just use your body weight. Inhale, come up. And let's all turn to face, is that uh, Barbara's camera? Let's all turn to face the right of the mat. You can pr bring your arms down. Bring your legs out about three feet apart. Put your brakes on, so bring your toes in. Make sure that your feet are nice and secure on the mat. Three corners and three cone. Three is three corners. Corners, literally three corners or triangle. And you can figure out there are lots of triangles in our body right now. Now, when you're ready, your feet are nice and secure. Turn your left foot out. Inhale, and your upper body turns to face the side of the mat. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height. Palms are facing down. Lean a little to your left. I'm going to wiggle my left foot forward. We're not bending the knee yet. That's an ear ahead of yourself, Rob. Right? <laughs> okay. Lean a little to your left. Exhale. Dip your left hand in front of your left ankle. Take the right arm all the way up. So now you can see several different triangles. You have a little triangle here between the hand and the foot. You have a triangle with your legs. You have a triangle with the whole body. Take your right arm as high as you can, and then move the right shoulder back so you get more of a workout. Very nice. Inhale, let's come up. Palms face down, turn your left foot in, turn the right foot out. We're gonna look away from the cameras for just a moment. 
Lean a little to your right. Exhale, turn your right foot out. Exhale, dip your right hand in front of your right ankle. Take the left arm all the way up. Both palms face forward. So basically what you're doing is you're gathering the energy from the atmosphere. So you want to make sure the heel of the right foot should be at a T with the inside of the left foot. So look up at the raised arm and hold. Inhale, come up. And then keep the right foot where it is. Keep your arms where they are at shoulder height. Exhale, bend your right knee. From triangle, we're going to brave warrior. Now we're coming into your posture, Rob. Uh. Bend the right knee, exhale, and bend. Now, Veera Bhadra, Veera is brave, Bhadra is soldier, warrior. Now we're going to take you a little further. Keep exhaling, dip the right hand in front of the right ankle, take the left arm all the way up. Veera Bhadra, corner, corner is corner. Now take your left arm all the way overhead, palm faces down. Look at the tip of your fingers on the left hand. So when your palm faces down, you get a delicious stretch in the whole left side of the body, your abductor muscles, the outside of your thighs, your obliques on the outside of your waist on the left side, your triceps, the back of your upper arm. Everything gets a beautiful stretch. And you get a wonderful compression on the right side as well. Inhale, let's come up. Straighten the right knee. Turn the right foot in. Turn the left foot out. Lean a little to your left. Exhale, bend your left knee. We've already done the triangle. Now we're going into Brave Warrior. Keep exhaling. Dip your left hand in front of your left ankle. Take the right arm all the way up. And then to feel that delicious stretch on the whole right side of the body, take your right arm all the way overhead. Palm faces down. Look at the tip of your fingers on the right hand. So that way you're getting a beautiful stretch for the whole right side of the body this time. Veera Padra Kona, warrior angle. Inhale, come up. Straighten your left knee, turn your left foot in. Exhale and release your arms. Wiggle your feet a little closer. And let's turn to face the front. We'll continue, actually this time maybe we should we should face uh, Fran's camera. Turn to face the front left of the mat. And here we are gonna need a little bit of space. So we, uh, let's all come forward. Heels are the inside, uh, the inner soles of your feet are parallel to each other. Bring your feet out about hip width apart. Place both your palms on your buttocks and push your elbows back. Now this posture is called Tiryang Asan. Tiryang simply means reverse inversion. So you're taking your whole body back. We're not going to go too deep. We're going to do as deep as we can. We're going to go into a posture as deep as we can today. Every day is different. Every body is different. And each person may do a particular posture, get a little deeper into certain postures, deeper in one than in the other. So we're all good at something. Some of us are good in balance. Some of them can do good back bends. Some are good at for, uh, forward folds. Both palms on your buttocks, push your elbows back. That helps open up the chest. You are enhancing your lung power, opening up your pectorals, your intercostals get a beautiful stretch as well. Inhale, lift your head up. When you get past midpoint, start exhaling, glide your palms down the back of your thighs. Tiryank Asan, reverse inversion. Keep exhaling and bend your knees. There is no compulsion to go too deep. Inhale, let's come up. And then let's do a little bit of a side twist. This is not part of the sequence. It's just to ease any potential tension in your spine. So you don't want a little bit of a catch anywhere. Now we're going to go all the way forward. Bring your legs out about three and a half, maybe a little further than you normally would. And this time round, because you're very tall, I'm going to go diagonal this way. So you have enough room to fold over. Now, if you're very tall, the way Ron is, Rob is also taller, everyone's tall on this mat except me. So you want to bring your legs out further apart. I'm still going to try and get as far as I can. Then put your brakes on. Make sure your feet are nice and secure, especially in this posture. And actually, I should have warned you, Ron. Hold on. Let me bring this close to you. You might need it. I might need it as well, in case you need it too, Rob. Keep a little bit of help handy if you need to, you need some external help to help you make the connection. Put your brakes on, inhale the arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. 
exhale, fold from the hip with a nice straight back. Even though you have props next to you, you always first make the effort to come down without the props. And then if you still need them, go for it. So let me first try. Make the connection. If the top of your head does not touch the floor today, that's okay, learn to forgive yourself. Use the block. First, try it at the lowest point. And then, rest your head, the top of your head on the block. Try it at midpoint. And then if you're very tired today, you might want to try it at the highest orientation. Whatever helps you make that connection. Yeah. And then I'm going to move that out of my way. Wiggle your feet a little closer. And then when you think it's safe to take your palms off, palms together, inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. Now wiggle your feet a little closer. And just a quick reminder, every posture in yoga needs to have a balancing opposition. So you do a back bend, you need to do a forward fold. You twist to the left, you need to twist to the right. Everything is about balance. It's balance is not just about standing on one leg. Balance is about balancing your thoughts, balancing and staying in focus, and balancing your postures, your body balance. Literally, that's what it is. Your body needs to stay in balance. All right, now we're going to do a very gentle undulating motion of the spine, just swaying from side to side. Heels together, toes apart, palms together, elbows are raised. Now, from the widespread stance, it's called Prasarita Padotan. Prasarita is widespread, Padotan is legs. Pada or ped from Latin, or I believe Latin is from Sanskrit. We don't care, I don't know. But there is a connection uh, linguistically. So Prasarita Padotan, widespread angle, but the school I came from again calls it Ugra or Fierce. Now we're going to take you through a posture called <clears throat> Ardha Chandra. Ardha is half, Chandra is moon, literally half moon or crescent moon. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, dip to the right. The idea in this posture is to feel a compression of your glands and organs inside, but basically a compression of your obliques on the right side and a beautiful stretch of the whole left side of the body. That includes the psoas, the sciatic nerves, the obliques on the, at the waist, and your triceps. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale. Bring your palms in front of your chest. Palms are facing down. So hands in front of the chest, palms facing down, elbows are raised. When your elbows are raised, your mind stays in the moment. Here's what we're going to do. You're still with us, Ron? Yes. Every now and then I hear Ron's deep exhales and I keep reminding myself that's fantastic because every time. <laughs> but you're doing well because yoga every day, your yoga <laughs> rhythm, right? But every time you exhale, Ron, you're detoxing. So that's really great. Palms are facing down. We're going to keep, keep your, uh, the insides of your feet parallel to each other. We're going to exhale, swing our right arm out, inhale back to the center, then exhale to the left. We'll do that twice. First time, keep your hips where they are. The second time, take your hips with you. Notice the difference. Take a deep breath in. Exhale to the right. Inhale back to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale back to the center. Make sure your feet and your hips, well, the second round, you can take your hips with you, but your feet still need to stay where they are. Now take your hips with you, notice the difference. Exhale to the right. Inhale back to the center, exhale to the left. Inhale back to the center, exhale and release. The posture we just came out of is called Kati Chakra. Kati is spinning, Chakra is wheel, like a spinning wheel, but we're really doing a half wheel. So it's a half spinning wheel. It's also great for those who play golf. Do you play golf, either of you? I know you play basketball. Baseball. Baseball. Well, you know, golf needs a lot of hip movement. That's why I was trying to point that out. Swing in baseball, is it? Oh, well, there you go. I don't play baseball, so I didn't know. So you have to swing your hips to hit the baseball? Oh, wow. Rotate, oh, I hip see. Rotation hip rotation. Yeah, okay, there you go. This is also great for a lot of sports. Throwing is rotation also. Is that right? Well, you learn something every day. 
I didn't know that. So anywhere where you need hip movement, this is a great posture to practice before you start your sport. Now we have some balancing postures, and that's where the chairs come in handy. So Ron, I want you to keep one close to you. Rob has one close to him. Now, if you need to use props at home, that's okay. It's all right to use help. Transfer your weight to the right leg. We have about three to four minutes. Right hand on the right hip. Turn your left knee out to the side. So raise your left heel. Inhale. Lift your left foot up. Attach the sole of the left foot to the inside of the upper right thigh. Now remember, look at a point in front of you that doesn't move to help you hold your balance. Once your foot is as high as you can take it today, both palms come in front of the chest. Palms together, elbows are raised. If you want to take it further, take your arms up. Thank you. Exhale and release. We have about three minutes, that's beautiful. Exhale, release your left foot, and then transfer your weight to the left leg. Left hand on the left hip for balance. Look at a point that doesn't move. Turn the right knee out to the side. Inhale, lift your right foot up. Attach the sole of the right foot to the inside of the upper left thigh. Now remember, this posture is called tree or vriksh. Trees literally are rooted to the ground, so they don't really fall off, but you think of a swaying tree. If you come out of a posture, get right back in. Learn to forgive yourself, it's okay. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, and release. Very gently, use your hands, release yourself from that posture. Now, we're gonna bring the left foot forward, take the right leg back. Both feet face the front of the mat. Palms in front of your chest. Inhale, take your arms up. Lean your body weight forward, come up on your back toes. And then exhale, lower your torso. And then raise your right leg. Look at something that's a little closer to you this time. I'm gonna look at the mic. Inhale, come up. And then let's switch legs. Exhale and release. Bring the right foot forward, take the left foot back. <coughs> Place your palms in front of your chest, Thula Dhanda. Thula Dhanda is balancing scale, so when we come down, we look like balancing scales. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold, or uh, fold, uh, fold uh, lower your torso, raise your left foot, left leg up. Look at a point that doesn't move. I'm gonna look at the mic. Credits are rolling. I believe we have a minute to go. Inhale, come up. Exhale, and release. Thanks to Josie and Hurd, Barbara Levin, and Fran Dixon. Today's episode has been made possible, and Deshaun Pretlow for the amazing studio setups, the sound system, body music by Cesar Depara, created just for Yoga Express, and opening track from Sapta Tandava. Now we're going to try one last posture, Natrajasan, maybe even two. Um, Uttitapada is raised foot. Transfer your weight to the right leg. Inhale, lift your left foot up. Raise your left leg. And then hold on to your left big toe with your left hand. Exhale and extend. Now, if you can get your leg out straight, which is great, and if you cannot, that's okay. Inhale and release. We have a few participants who are able to take their left leg all the way out to the side. We're not ready for that today, but if you want to at home, feel free. Transfer your weight to your left leg. Uttita pada, raised leg. Pada is foot, Uttita is raised. Inhale, hold on to the right big toe. Exhale and extend. You come out of a posture, get right back in. Inhale and release. I think we have time to steal one more posture. Now transfer your weight to the right leg, right hand on the right hip for balance. Hold on to the left ankle from behind. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip your torso, raise your left knee. Look at a point that doesn't move. Natraj Asan dances pose.